Hey guys, this is J3 here, and I'm showing you guys today how to do a custom HTML background on Windows XP. I'm not sure how many operating systems this works for, but I know it works on XP, and I know you can do it portably, which means no administrator privileges required. First thing you want to do is, you don't have to do this, but I like to do it, is auto hide icons free. Link to that is in the description. Alright, so you're going to want to hide all your icons and then you're going to want to make this, this part right here. You're going to want to open up a program called Composer, which is also portable. Link is in the description to that, too. These images and links are on my hard drive. They link to things on my hard drive, except for Google.com, which links outside. But let me tell you that I recommend having everything in here on especially embedded things like images on your hard drive. That's for two reasons. First reason is if you're offline, the images won't appear. And the second reason is every time you start your computer, you don't want those stuff loading from the Internet. It's going to really crap, crap up your browsing and computer usage experience. Trust me. All right, so now that we have that covered, the basics are here. It's a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. I will make tutorials on how to use this program better, but uh, I'll give you the basics. You can make links by selecting this and pushing the link tool, and you can do that to files too. So if you go to link properties, you can find files which you can link to. This includes executable files. So if you're computer illiterate to that point and you don't know how to do that, then I'll have other tutorials and I can provide you with help further with that. So you got to go to File, Save As, and then you save your desktop background. Then you go to your desktop. You need to go to Properties. And then what you do is you go to Desktop and you select the HTML file rather than an image. And then you hit Apply. Once you hit Apply, you got your HTML file as your desktop background. Um, it's very easy to use. You just use your desktop background exactly like you would a web page. And the cool thing about the text is adding text to it is cool because you can copy it and it provides fast access to your contact info and you never got to save it anywhere else. So no notepad files anymore. All you have to do is have directly your contact information right there. You know? That's the cool part about it. So, um... All right, well, that, that concludes my tutorial. If you need any help with it, then just contact me. All right.